Hi everyone, today we're going to make a lobster trap and we're going to be using Scratch to code this game. And hey, if you're new to coding or if you need a refresher, I suggest that you check out my Learn to Code videos on YouTube. These will get you up to speed pretty quickly on coding with Scratch. I also suggest that you follow me and subscribe because I post a lot of cool videos quite regularly. Anyways, let's get started on today's lobster trap. So I'm going to go to Scratch, and I'm already there, scratch.mit.edu. I'm going to click the Create button because we're creating something brand new today, so Create. If a tutorial pops up, exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the Scratch cat, so I'm going to click on the garbage can and say goodbye to the cat. And I'm going to get an underwater backdrop for our game of Lobster Trap. So I'm going to go way down here to the bottom corner, choose a backdrop. There's a few different underwater uh, backdrops that you can choose from your choice. Uh, I'm going to choose this one. I like this one the best. So there's my backdrop. And then I'm going to choose a fish sprite. So I'm going to go to this one here, choose a sprite. I'm going to click that and go and find a fish. Uh, there's a few different fish to choose from. I like this fish. There's different costumes for this fish. I like the plain orange one because it looks like a famous fish called Nemo. Hey, this fish is awfully big for this game. He's 100% right now. I'm going to make him a lot smaller. So I'm going to click inside this box and backspace and type in 50%. So that's a perfect size for my game, 50%. And today, when the game starts, I don't want him to start in the middle like we've done for many of the other games that we've done before. I want him to start way up here. So, watch what I do. I'm going to go to the events button here and get a green flag. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you at home or at school, wherever you happen to be coding today. When the green flag is clicked, I want the fish to start way up here. I want it to go up there. So, I'm going to go to the motion button, the blue one. Go to, and I know there's some other numbers in there right now, but the numbers I wanted to go to are 180 and 140. Nice round numbers. So when a green flag is clicked, the fish should go to 180 and 140, which is around here. So let's see how that works. Ready? Green flag again. Go. Perfect. Right there. So that's 180 and 140. So that's where we wanted to start. And then I want to do the trick that we did in the previous game where he follows the mouse pointer all around. And Watch how I do that again. Um, point to the mouse pointer. Point towards the mouse pointer. And then move 10 steps. But instead of 10 steps, I'm going to make that a lot smaller. Five. No, I'm going to make it three steps. It's going to move really smoothly like he's swimming through the water. So I'm going to put a forever loop around that. I'm going to go to the control and get a forever loop. So when the green flag is clicked, the fish should go way up here to 180 and 140. And then forever, point to the mouse pointer, move three steps. Point to the mouse pointer, move three steps, forever and ever. Let's see how, the, how that looks. Ready? Green flag and go. Yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. He's moving so smoothly through the water. Okay, hey, I'm going to pause here, let everybody catch up. If you get stuck, please, please take a look at my code. And um, when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting for you. Okay, next, I'm going to go get a lobster. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go way down here to the Sprites button. Choose a Sprite. And I'm going to scroll down. It's actually called a crab um, right there. Look at that. I like this crab. So I'm going to double click that and I'm going to move it somewhere. Although he's awfully big as well, I'm going to make the crab a lot smaller. So instead of 100%, I'm going to make him 50%. Great. You'll notice on the crab, the crab has a couple of different costumes. There's this one with its claws closed and this one with its claws open. And if I can go back and forth between these two costumes, it looks like he's opening and closing his claws. So look, I'm going to click on the code button. And I'm going to get the green flag. When the green flag is clicked, I want him to switch costumes. So it's in the looks button, the costume. So looks is the purple one. Next costume. And then I'm going to put a forever loop around it. So forever, next costume. There. So it'll forever switch costumes. Watch the crab's claws open and close. Ready? Green flag and go. It's going so fast, though, you can hardly tell. So look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to slow it down just a little bit because he's opening and closing those claws really quickly. 
So I'm going to get the weight one second, and I'm going to put it inside there. And instead of one second, because that's awfully slow, look, it's too slow. I'm going to change it to something smaller, a smaller number than one. And a smaller number than one is 0 decimal 5. And the decimal is down by the space bar. So look, green flag, it's opening and closing its claws nicely, trying to catch our poor fish. That's perfect. And now I'm going to duplicate the crab so we can have more than one crab. Look how I'm going to do this. I'm going to put my mouse pointer on the crab right there. Don't hit the garbage can. You don't want to get rid of your crab. But look, I'm going to put the mouse pointer right on my crab. Then I'm going to put two fingers on the touchpad and gently press on the crab and duplicate. See how the duplicate came up? I'm going to duplicate the crab. And I'm going to move that one over here maybe. And now I'm going to duplicate the crab again. So I'm going to put the mouse pointer on the crab. It might take you a little bit of practice to do this. But put two fingers on the touchpad and duplicate. And I'm going to put that one there. Once you get the hang of duplicating, it's really easy. But take some time to figure this one out because it will save you a lot of work. So I'm going to put the mouse pointer on the crab, two fingers on the touchpad, and duplicate. And maybe we're going to get five crabs in total. How many do I have now? One, two, three, four. So I'm going to do one more. Ready? Duplicate and five. So now all of these crabs should have their claws opening and closing. So let's try that. Ready? Green flag and go. Yes, look at that. Oh, this is quite the lobster trap we've got set up for our poor Nemo. Okay. So hey, I'm going to pause there. Let everybody catch up. So first of all, I got a crab sprite and I coded it so that when the green flag is clicked, it's forever changing costumes, going to the next costume. And then it's waiting 0 0.5 so it doesn't go too fast. Once I've got this coded perfectly, this crab, once it's perfectly coded, then I duplicated it. And I duplicated again and again and again and again. And then I moved the crabs around so they're all spread out. So hey, I'm going to let you do that. When you are ready um, for the next part, I'll be here waiting for you. All right, I hope you were able to duplicate those crabs and move them all over the place so it's a bit of a maze and a trap for our fish. Hey, now I'm going to get a sprite, something that the fish really likes to eat. And we all know that fish love to eat cheesy puffs. So I'm going to go down and get the cheesy puffs right there. So I'm going to click on cheesy puffs. And I'm going to choose, uh, move the cheesy puffs way down to the bottom corner over here. And the game is you have to get the fish through the lobster trap to get to the cheesy puffs. So let's see how that goes. Okay, ready? Green flag. He starts up here. I'm going to try to get through the maze of lobsters to the cheesy puffs. Great. Wonderful. Okay, now I'm going to go to the fish sprite. And we're going to code it so that when the fish touches the cheesy puffs, the fish says yum. So watch how I do that. I'm going to go get another green flag. Again, you can have lots of green flags. When the green flag is clicked, if touching cheesy puffs, if, if touching. So that's in the control, if, if, right there. Touching, again, is a sense. So it's in the sensing button right there, sensing. Touching, and I'm going to grab this one that says touching mouse pointer. We're going to change that in a minute. And I'm going to slide it right in here, wait till it turns white. And then let go and it should pop right in there. Great. When the green flag is clicked, if touching cheesy puffs, cheesy puffs, if it's touching the cheesy puffs, then I want the fish to say, not hello, but I want him to say, yum. There we go for two seconds. Okay, let's see if our game works. Ready? Green flag and go. Let's get through our lobster uh, trap. And when we touch the cheesy puffs, the fish should say, yum. Oh, the fish didn't say anything. Well, that's because we didn't code it properly. The green flag, the computer was checking when the green flag was clicked, but it didn't check ever again. So we want the computer to check forever and ever, a hundred times a second, forever checking to see if it's touching the cheesy puffs. And if the fish is touching the cheesy puffs, then say yum. So we've got to put a forever loop around this if statement. So, ready, green flag and go. Let's see if it works now. Touching the cheesy puffs and perfect. He says, yum, wonderful. Hey, I'm going to pause for a minute. Um, go get another sprite. 
We'll go down here, choose a Sprites. I got Cheesy Puffs because I know fish love to eat Cheesy Puffs. The Taco is also a good Sprite, so you could put a Cheesy Puffs here or a Taco here or Bananas here or something. And then code the fish so that when the green flag is clicked, the computer is forever checking to see if it's touching the Cheesy Puffs. And if the fish is touching the Cheesy Puffs, then have the fish say, yum, for two seconds. If you get stuck, please, please take a look at my code here. And when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. All right, next, we've got to make the game harder. If the fish touches any of these lobsters, the fish goes all the way back to the beginning and has to start all over again. So watch how I'm going to code this. I'm just going to make this a bit smaller. So I'm going to get another green flag. Um, green flag. If touching the crab, they go back to the beginning. So if, 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 and it's again down here, if. Um, and we know that we have to put a forever loop around it. So it's forever checking to see if it's touching the crab. So green flag, forever check if touching crab. If touching, touching is a sense. Touching, I'm gonna grab that one, mouse pointer. Drop it in there. If touching Oh, look at that. Crab, crab two, crab three, crab four, crab five. Yikes, it's a lot of crabs. Okay, let's start with the crab. If touching crab, then go to, go to the beginning. And the beginning was um, 180 and 140. There we go. Which one is crab? There's crab right there. Okay, let's test this out. Okay, ready? Green flag. When I touch this crab, the fish should go all the way back to the beginning. Yep, he does. Perfect. He goes all the way back to the beginning. Ah, this is going to be a hard game. If ever I touch these crabs, I have to go all the way back to the beginning. All right. So we've coded the one crab, but now we need to code the rest of the crabs. So I'm just going to move this over. And look what I'm going to do. I'm going to put another if statement inside the forever. So if touching crab one touching crab two i should say go back to 180 and 140 180 and 140 okay so i've done crab one i've done crab two i'm gonna pause and i'm gonna do crab three four and five and um, when I'm done, I'll be back. And if you get stuck, you can look at my code. Perhaps you can work on crab, crab two, crab three, crab four, crab five as well. Good luck. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right. I'm glad to see you back. Boy, that was a lot of coding to make sure that um, we've got the fish going all the way back to the beginning if he hits any of these crabs. But you know what? I've got a quicker way to do it, a much more efficient way to do it. Because look, I nested all these if statements here. I nested this one inside of the forever loop. I nested this one inside the forever loop. I nested this one and this one. Oh, that's a lot of coding. I have a much more efficient way to do this. Look, I'm going to take out all of this code and I'm going to drag it over here and let go and it's going to disappear. Instead of touching crab, look, all the crabs are the same color, red, right? Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take touching crab out of there and drop it over here to say goodbye to that. I'm going to go back to the sensing and I'm going to grab if touching color. So I'm going to put that right in there. If touching the color red, then go all the way back to the beginning. So I just got to make this red. Watch how I do that. There's a simple trick for that. I'm just going to click it because right now it's like a greenish color. I'm going to click it and I'm going to go down here. There's a sampling button. I'm going to go get a sample of the red that I want. So I'm going to click that, and I'm going to go over here and click on the red right there. See that? That red is exactly the same color as all these lobsters. And watch how I did that. I'll show you one more time. I'm going to click there where it's red now. Go get the sampling tool. So I'm going to get a sample of the color I want. Click that. And then go and click on the red right there. And now this red is the same as this red. So instead of all that coding with if touching crab one and crab two and all that stuff, I'm just putting if touching the color red, then go all the way back to the beginning. Let's see if it works. Ready? Green flag and go. 
Yep, went to the back to the beginning. Let's see if it works with this one. Yep, perfect. Perfect. All right, that's working really well. So there's an example of much more efficient coding. I got rid of all those if touching crab one and crab two and crab three. And I'm just using this one piece of code. I, I use color instead of all those crab letters, numbers. Last thing, if somebody's going to play your game, they won't really know what to do. The fish has to give some instructions. So this is the very last thing. So um, when the green flag is clicked, before he starts pointing to the mouse pointer moving three steps, I'm just going to have him say something. So I'm going to go to the looks button, grab say, put that right there, attach that again. Say, get me to the cheesy puffs. Something like that. Maybe for five seconds because no one can read that quickly. And there we go. So, I think that's our game. Let me just test this out. Ready? Green flag. Yep, he says, get me to the cheesy puffs. And then you got to get through the maze without getting touched by the lobsters. And if you touch the cheesy puffs, yum, he says, and you've won the game. Perfect. If you get stuck, please, please take a look at my code. And remember, this tricky one, you just got to hold it there, touch it once, and then you go get the sampling key uh, tool, and then you can get a sample of the red. Um, I hope you enjoyed that game. I'm looking forward to seeing you at our next one. It's going to be a lot of fun. Have a great rest of, wet rest of your day, everybody. Bye-bye.